Hi everyone, Dplant here, and today I'm going to teach you how to take a vine cutting out of your Nepenthes. Um, this is my Nepenthes Alata. That's like really big, okay? So it's like two and a half feet, I guess. But I'm not going to do it on my um, Nepenthes Sanguinea because it's so big. I mean, it's not, it's not that, it's not as big. So like, um, I want to separate my Nepenthes Alata. So I can have multiple plants. Um, yeah, I'm gonna set the tripod upward. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, okay, let's see. All right, you can see it. I'm going to cut this one over here. This one because caterpillars have ate, ate, eaten it, and then like there's brown stuff. So I just want to take cutting out of this so let's get started so you first need a scissor or a pocket knife scissor I recommend the scissor because it's more sharp um, all you have to do is face the scissor it's like uh, slanted and then all you have to do is press really really hard hold on to the top of the stem press on it and you cut it now what you'll get is like a white spot on here now what you quickly need is this you need like a container of water oh like you can't see it can you it's like a container of water i just use the chrysanthemum tea container and all you have to do is like stick it in it's like that that's for later but for now you still have more things to do. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. Um, it's really sticky for some reason, so I'm gonna wash it off. Um, if it has a pest, I don't rec recommend doing this. This is not a pest. All this stuff, the brown stuff, is only because it's the dead part of the leaf. So all you have to do right now is, okay, let me show you. See this leaf? Okay, there's leaves. Uh go to the half of it and cut it cut that now you'll end up with this now you can just toss it like that okay I don't even want that like you can cut it all the way if you'd like but I'm just gonna do it to like half because people told me to and it like it's like good for photosynthesis and everything so you just repeat this process okay so now you'll end up with this let me just put that down you'll end up with this um this thing it's white it's gonna turn brown soon so all you have to do now as i did before so this just put this one in stick it in shoot i'm just gonna put all the leaves in because I want to. Okay, just like that. But, okay, so it has, it has a lot of space for water. Um, uh, if you have like a glass jar or something, I recommend using that instead of this. But, does, since there's like a, a big hole, I can just pull it out every time I need to. And, oh shoot, a leaf is stuck. And then like, I can check if there's roots. And hold on, I'm just gonna do something else. I'm just gonna cut off this stupid leaf. Okay, um, here you go. See this? It's like, if, if it's on the really bottom, you can cut it off if you like. I'm gonna do it. Um, is this how you do it? Nope, that's not. Here you go, okay. Now it looks weird. Looks like something. And then, like, you just put it in. Now you put it in. And if it falls, don't worry. I don't care. Um, just put it back up. Uh, okay, let's just sit this on this stool. Uh, yep, so, like, it can get sunlight, and it, you need to ensure high humidity. Um, um, the part where you cut off, you want to make sure you keep that 
really, really, really moist. But I'm going to show you an example of what happened uh, the, uh, the recent leaf cutting. So it's like this. This is what happens. The, it turns brown, but don't worry, the plant is not dead. I'm going to show you how it's not dead. See this? This thing is coming out from the stem. It's called a growing point. It made two of those, so I'll have twice the plant. It's like, it's going to branch out, and you have two plants. And I recommend you keep the one that is going to go straight, and you can cut off the one that is not straight. And, like, you can use that for another vine cutting, but make sure it grows big enough until it's doing stuff. Okay, so, this is a Nepenthes Lotta. Now, all you have to do is take this and put it into a greenhouse, if you even have a greenhouse. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to try something. Okay, um up on the top of the greenhouse because that's where we get most of the sunlight move my plants down um yeah so all you have to do is ensure high humidity if you don't have a green greenhouse um all you have to do is like get a plastic baggie and then you like put it on top of the of the leaf like make sure it's big enough put it on top make sure there's some tiny holes on the uh, bag so like air can go in and everything so that will ensure high humidity and you know it'll make it grow while it's trying to make uh, you know roots and everything um, yeah so yeah thank you for watching um, if you like this video rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye